are you doing? Welcome back. Okay, so what we're going to now start to do is just work through the timeline step by step and I'm going to show you all the different things. So we're going to start here with our big cover photo. Okay, now the optimum size for your cover photo is around 840 pixels wide by 310 pixels deep. Okay, now if that's 850 pixels wide by 820 pixels deep, uh, by 320 pixels deep, or even 835 pixels wide by 305 pixels, do you know what I mean? It's, it's around that, the optimum size really is 840 pixels across by 310 pixels deep, okay? And then what you do, very simply, is you click on this little button here, and you can either choose from photos that you already have in your photo album, or you can simply upload a photo um, from your desktop if you've created a photo or done a design and you can also reposition it okay so you can kind of drag it around I mean this one is absolutely made totally for this size um, but if you let's say you chose a photo and you just wanted an element of that photo then you could basically drag it and reposition it and then save changes okay um, and that's really all you do it's as simple as that to upload a photo yeah um, you can edit your profile picture as well again you can choose from the photos you can actually take a photo of yourself again you can upload a photo you can edit your thumbnail or you can remove it altogether okay so these photos here are totally editable and changeable and all of that kind of stuff um, and what's interesting about these headers in fact let's go and have a look at some other headers now and see what some other people have done with them um, because what I'd like to show you is it's really how far can we push this header can we brand ourselves can we brand our business um, so let's go over and have a look and see what some other people have done with their cover photos just went and found this uh, article I'll post this um, the, this uh, article below uh, this video but here's just some some really interesting ideas for timeline designs look at this so <laughs> this guy lying here with his head in the profile picture that's quite funny uh, this chap here is frightening himself this lady here she's actually put a Facebook her Google Plus stream in her timeline which is quite interesting <laughs> uh, this chap's put his Facebook status updates in his the old one in his um, so it looks like the old profile there it's quite clever that one there, some pictures going across the screen. This one's a good one. This one's look. This guy is actually advertising his um, URL as well, so he is kind of pushing the boundaries here and advertising his business URL as well on his page, which is uh, which is just the question I'm asking at the moment. How far can we push it? Um, let's have a look at some other interesting ones. That's quite a good one, isn't it? Look with all of that going back in there, which is quite good. Uh, that's quite good. Very creative, aren't they, these guys? Um, what else have we got here? There's some clever ones down here as well. That's good. Look like a photo cutout. Him in the corner of the photo. That's very good. Um, very creative. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, what else have we got down here? See, there's a QR code. Um, this chap, he's saying he's a designer as well. Um, this guy, he's saying I'm an artist, you know, and I work for, I don't work for free. Uh, there's another one actually down here, which is um, a business type one. Here we go, blogger. Here we go, Jay Pre's corner, Jay Pre's blog with his blog.com on there. So. So I think, you know, really the new timeline covers and with the new subscribe feature, which we're going to talk about in the next um, video or the next few videos, we're going to start talking about subscribe as well. I think we can really now start to sort of push the boundaries with our timeline cover. Let's just have a look at Mari Smith's as well. This is Mari Smith's new book, The New Relationship Marketing. Um, and uh, I recently interviewed her actually I hope you've seen the interview if not it is on the site so go and have a check that out um, but she's you know she's used this whole space here to brand and talk about her book which I think is quite good so um, 
I think you can be very creative with your timeline cover, as creative as you'd like to be. I don't think you should be, bra you know, really overtly branding your business. I mean, I've got SNA TV here, the Social Networking Academy, um, and I'm I'm going to obviously upload some other cover photos soon. I may talk about our new templates and all stuff like that. Um, but I do think you ought, still ought to just be aware that. Uh, Facebook is very much still your personal profile is about being personal your Facebook page is about business um, and you really do sort of need to keep them as such the subscribe feature has grayed that line a little bit and we'll talk more about that when we get to talking about the subscribe feature um, but if as a rule of thumb you post more personal type stuff on your personal page keep your Facebook page for really sort of business stuff um, never ever overtly sell on your personal page um, then I think you know you should be okay if you stick to that as a general rule of thumb then you should be okay all right all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into this middle section in the next video I'm gonna take you through this middle section we're gonna run through all the different boxes um, and updating your info and all of that kind of stuff so I'll see you on the next video